Joseph Lassiri is the one strawweight world champion. And tonight, as a huge underdog, he looks to take down the mighty Rod Tang at flyweight and become a two-division world champ. But Lassiri's path to this moment, the biggest of his life, has not been an easy one. Lassiri started his career in one with four straight losses. His mindset was down. He lost his passion. He considered giving up the sport. But Lassiri says it was at his lowest moment, the crossroads of his career, where he decided instead to go all in, to quit his other part-time jobs, to throw his chips to the middle of the table and believe in himself when few others did. And now as Lassiri enters the one circle tonight, he does so on a three-fight winning streak and wins in four of his last five. He's already written one of the biggest comeback stories in one championship, and now Joseph Lassiri looks to defy the odds yet again and score a massive upset over the world's best. You know, we talk a lot about comeback stories, right? Like Michael Jordan getting kicked off the basketball team back in high school, or Rudy making, you know, the team on Notre Dame, right? But I'm gonna put Joseph Lassiri on that list. I have absolutely fallen in love with this young man because of his heart and desire to be the best he absolutely can. I love Joseph Lassiri. Well, enjoy the best seats in the house this Sunday night, 10 p.m. Eastern, when the VR replay of 163 Akimoto Pekinong airs in Meta Horizon Worlds. You know, we were talking about we were talking to Chatri about this match just a couple minutes ago, and he said that Lasiri has pissed Rod Tang off, which is not typically a smart thing to do. But I wonder if that's actually part of Lasiri's game plan to get inside Rod Tang's head. You know, Rod Tang is one of those guys in the ring that typically shows some emotion. I don't think it normally is true emotion. He just does it for the showman factor. But if he is actually able to get inside Rod, Rod Tang's head and create some discourse there, perhaps he's, he's using that as a strategy to. Uh, get him off his game a little bit. Thoughts on that, Mitch? Well, there's gears to Rod Tang, right? Like, he comes out there, sometimes he takes opponents lightly, right? He drops his hands, shakes his head at him, right? But then he levels up, right? We saw in the second match with Jonathan Haggerty, right? And if Joseph Lassiri wants to be successful here tonight, he's gonna have to close that distance. Utilize those beautiful elbows and knees. Control the range with the jab and also avoid the firefight with Rod Tang. He's got a frustration straight in so maybe he is trying to get into his head because Joseph Lassiri breaks people over the fight right and if he can get Rod Tang to really start to push at him because of something you mentioned the previous weight miss maybe Rod Tang's taking him lightly maybe he is angry maybe he can get inside his head and frustrate the Iron Man and we can take this match to different levels like he did against Prajan Chai how are you gonna make one of the generational greats quit on the stool that's what my boy Joseph Lassiri does he overcomes all the odds. Yeah, I see I see Lassiri winning this match in two ranges. He was staying on the outside. He's got a five-inch reach advantage, right? So he has to stay out of that no man's land where Raw Tank can just chew him up like Raw Tank typically does. If he can do that, maintain that distance, use that jab, or on the inside with those elbows like we talked about in the keys to victory, it's those two ranges where Lassiri is going to find his success. But if he finds himself in the middle of that stuff, that no man's land, you're in raw tang world then. That firefight, got to avoid it, in and out. With a staggering 268 career wins, Rod Tang is quite simply the most dominant fighter in Muay Thai in the world. He has dominated in one Super Series, going 11-0 in Muay Thai and kickboxing, including four one flyweight Muay Thai world title wins. Rod Tang is the most entertaining fighter in one history. He will fight anyone, anytime, and anywhere. He's the most exciting fighter in all of martial arts. An amazing showman, supremely confident, absolutely relentless.
He's a box office blockbuster. Going, as he says, 110% all the time. Rob Tank told us this week, it doesn't matter the magnitude of fight. My audience pays a lot of money to come and see me, and I refuse to take advantage of that audience by not performing well and making them happy. Rod Tank says it's his responsibility to make this crowd in Singapore proud of him tonight. And that there would be no Rod Tank. He would not be who he is today without their unwavering support. Tonight, this unstoppable force enters the one circle as the overwhelming favorite as Rod Tang defends his flyweight Muay Thai world title belt once again. Yet again, Rod Tang makes the walk to the circle. He's done so 11 times in the past with a perfect record inside one championship. Dancing, enjoying his way to the circle. Rod Tang, yes, he is a devastating puncher with relentless aggression. Just this fearsome attack mode that just melts people when he turns it on. But he's also extremely technical. He can change gears at a moment's notice. Unleash your greatness in official one championship performance and lifestyle wear. Shop now at one dot shop. Yeah, when you talk about Raw Tank being technical, it's one of those things that we don't often see. We see the highlights of him shaking off a kick to the head or punching himself in the jaw and shaking it off. And it's those highlights that gets the, the audience excited. But when you look at the way that Raw Tank will throw a combination, take his head off line, the way that he closes distance on the inside, the way that he always puts combinations together, this guy rarely throws a single strike if it's not a jab. He's typically punching in bunches, three, four pieces at a time, finishing with kicks. He is the complete package of Muay Thai. Yeah, undefeated inside one championship, the four-time one flyweight Muay Thai world champion. He puts on a show every single time, so much so that he's won the one Super Series fight of the year, not once, but twice. Rod Tang is so good, and especially in that match up against Jacob Smith, we got to hear Dan Hardy's breakdown of Rod Tang and how he was able to utilize head movement and defensive blocks to his advantage to put him into positions where he was hurting people, typically where it's not seen. He's so good at making adjustments. In that Jacob Smith fight, he actually hurt his hand, and he was able to make adjustments by throwing the elbow. Who will take home the belt? The journey continues with Toomey. World title belt on the line here tonight in this co-main event yeah, you inside know, the Singapore Indoor Stadium. Mitch was talking about that Raw Tang's match with Jacob Smith, and I think the thing that he did in that match is he didn't have his typical slow start that he normally has. He came out of the gates aggressively. I think that's what he needs to do with the Siri tonight. The ultimate showman, Rod Tang. Tail of the tape. The Siri is 31, Rod Tang is 25. Two pounds heavier is Rod Tang, five inch reach advantage for the man from Morocco and Italy, Joseph Lasiri. Our global rules set five three minute rounds, 10 point must system, three knockdowns in a round is a TKO. Here's Tom Lau. And now we have our co main event. Five three-minute rounds for the one flyweight Muay Thai Championship of the World. Presented to you by Toomey, our official premium travel bags partner. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he is the undisputed one strawweight Muay Thai World Champion. Standing at 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 133 pounds, holding a Muay Thai and kickboxing record of 43 wins and 12 losses. Trading out of Kick and Punch Milano, representing Italy and Morocco, Joseph the Hurricane. And 
Introducing his opponent out of the red corner. He stands at 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, holding a Muay Thai and kickboxing record of 268 wins and 42 losses. Training out of Jit One Non Gym, representing Thailand. Please welcome the reigning and defending undisputed four time one flyweight Muay Thai champion of the world, Rotang, the Iron Man, Jin Wanong. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, the boss, Olivier Cost. My guys, watch out for the headbutt. Low blow and back of the head. You both know the rules. Five fair, five clean, touch glove, and back your corner. Here we go with a co-main event. One on Prime Video 4. Rock Tang and Lasiri. We've been excited about this fight for weeks. The Siri, you just you see the joy on his Ready. face. So excited to be here and have this opportunity on the biggest night of his life. Yeah, Rotang might change that real quick if he turns it up like Rich Franklin thinks he's going to. Opens with an inside leg kick, does the champ Rod Tang. Yeah, if there's anybody that can wipe a smile off your face, it's Rod Tang. Good early start from the showman. Always worth the price of admission and then some Rod Tang. And Lassiri with an early low blow. Rotang's oh. coming out southpaw. That's definitely an adjustment. He switches back to orthodox, but he's starting in southpaw, which is rare for that broad time. Yes, yes, yes. This is where Lassiri believes he would have the advantage inside that clinch. He could kind of hang on him, try to drain some of that energy away from his arms, but that's a tall ask. Flyweight Muay Thai World Championship on the line. Five three-minute rounds in Muay Thai. That was a nice leg kick landed by Raw Tang. Raw Tang just looks so relaxed. Like, he's so relaxed between techniques, and then he throws with just such ferocity and speed. Body kick from Raw Tang. Yeah, especially when he starts utilizing those combos, when he starts to dig into the body and answer the cat. That leg kick right there is already changing the demeanor. He's hurt. He's he hurt. He felt that one. Olivier Kass steps in. Yeah, he's he's kind of sitting in that no man's land, Rich. Like he's sitting in that area where he can't really land shots, right? And he's just kind of waiting. He's getting backed up by Raw Tank. This is what I was talking about before the match. He can win this match in, in two ranges. Staying on the outside, using that jab, that rain, that that reach that he has, or tying up to the clinch. Joseph Siri going spinning. Raw Tank just reads these. Reads these techniques and just evades and moves. Flying knee from the Siri. Yeah, that was bounced off the tree yeah. right there. Yeah, he just jumped in the air. Rodney didn't even flinch. Spinning back kick didn't land, and then <sighs> flying knee didn't work. And Rock Tang with a straight right. The Siri unable to gauge that distance so far, as you alluded to, Mitch. Yeah, he threw that big right hand, and Rod Tang just floated out of the way of it. Spinning back kick, not much damage from the Siri. I like the way Rod Tang cuts angles, too. He'll take these little short steps just to put you in line with his right hand. You can see there's a big speed difference between the two here. It's not the speed as much as it is the way that Lasiri is throwing. His techniques aren't as tight as Rod Tang. And those little micro movements gives Rod Tang the milliseconds he needs to be able to read these, these punches. Kicks coming at him. A one two from Lasiri and Rod Tang says, Bring it on. That's not a good sign when Rod Tang takes a shot with small gloves and says, Do it again. That felt like nothing. Let's go. Big gloves, I can understand, but right. little gloves, come oh. on. Man. Rod Tang's done that against several oh, times. Big point. gloves, though. Those are big gloves. These are little gloves, and he's a strawweight champion of the world. Come on now. End of round one. Judicious with his movements. Look at this, Rotten reaching forward, he likes this. He likes to come forward, find range with his hands, touches it, okay, come on, let's go, let's go. He's starting to feel it. Like that was a good straight right from Lasiri and it did nothing. No. And we've seen this from Rotten before and most people think that when he does that, that he's getting emotional.
When, when you just approach him, he's just scared of you already, so just go ahead for it. In the corner of Rod Ting. Highly technical advice from the corner. <laughs> I think the corner saw what we saw. Not Absolutely. a lot of respect given, you know, they're, they're believing that Lasiri is scared of Rod Tang. Lasiri, I'm interested to see how he changes things. I'm interested to see what adjustments he can make here between one and two. Rod Tang and Lasiri, the bell in round two. Five three minute rounds for the flyweight Muay Thai world title here in one championship. I am surprised a little bit by Lasiri standing his ground. Right? He's not really moving that way. He's moving uh, down his feet, but he's standing in the pocket. Rod Tang comes up firing and then follows with a push kick. Every shot on that series of strikes was a heavy landing shot. There was nothing wasted there. I mean, his he wastes no movement. It's you can, incredible. You can see how relaxed he just evades and leans back away from a kick. And watch how he covers distance, too. The way he approached that body shot, like he came, he kept his feet underneath him the entire time so he could land the body shot and then go with the straight right hand. He missed the right hand, but the body shot was there. See, right there. Again. Rod Tang with a big elbow. I'll tell you, Rotten doesn't even waste any energy in his facial expression. Crazy. For the people watching at home, this is efficiency. This is, if you looked up efficiency in the, in the dictionary, you would see a video of this. And he will stand and take shots. He's got an iron chin to go with it. But he moves a lot. Like, his head is not really online. It's not like he's keeping his head stationary. He likes to slide his head out of position. But I don't think there's any respect for the power that the three might have, or in this case, might not have. A couple outside leg kicks and another from Monte. Mixed in right and then a left as well. Using his entire arsenal here in round two. Man, you see that well timed. The Siri came up with the knee, and Raw Tang just immediately dumped him. Siri tries a straight right and then doubles up on the jab trying to get some kind of some kind of damage done here in the second. There's another jab and this is exactly what I was talking about. The Siri has that five inch reach advantage. He should be pumping that jab out there all night. If nothing else, it keeps Rod Tank from moving forward with his game plan. Left hook and then a straight right from Rod Tank. Outside leg kick. Rodney's doing a good job of beating up that lead leg. And what that's going to do, it's going to slow down his movement. And he's not going to be able to run as much. Because right now, he's moving a lot laterally, right? He's moving backwards a lot. And if he keeps beating on that leg, that movement's going to get less and less as the round goes on. Final 25 seconds in round two. Another miss from Lasiri, spinning back kick. The two demeanors between these two guys, it's so different. It's good to see Lasiri keeping his right arm, his elbow nice and tight to his body. Rontang's been digging to that lever a lot with that lead hand. Credit Lasiri with trying some different things in his arsenal, but it's tough to land against the mighty Rontang. I and mean, even if you do land, he doesn't give you any respect for it. He just brushes his chin saying, why don't you give me another? Look at that coming forward. Look at the way that the, the series being moved around, right? When every time Rod Tang hits him or pressures forward, he's stumbling. He's off balance. His feet are underneath him. Stop with Oki. No more Oki. Go with a direct jab. Poi la seconda cosa, quando si butta, che tu when lo vedi, can, e stai andando indietro, gomito dritto, Gio, Go dietro, dietro, gomito, lo prendi 100%. Picchialo con le mani che lo fermi. So the corner's seeing the same thing I'm seeing, and yep. telling him, use the jab, use the jab. That's going to keep, you know, we saw in the replays there, Mitch, and you talked about uh, Raw Tank disrupting the series balance, in whether he's, you know, kicking him off balance or in that in the last replay where you saw him bump him. He, that's something that people don't, don't see oftentimes or respect, is just those, those little bumps that keeps the series from being able to fire back. And right now, he should be pumping that jab to stop Raw Tank from moving forward. For our audience back in North America and the United States in particular, who aren't as familiar with Muay Thai, the opportunity to watch a guy at Rod Tang do his craft at the level that he does here tonight 
Very impressive stuff. Yeah, look, he, was, he originally started the match orthodox, right-handed, right? Right hand back. And now, Joseph Lassiri is moving to his right, so Watain switches southpaw. So now, Joseph Lassiri is walking into his power side, which is a huge detail and kind of game-changing for the what Joseph Lassiri is going to be feeling with these shots. Spinning back fist, Lassiri. Keep in mind, switching from conventional to southpaw like that, like, typically people that are predominantly a conventional fighter, they might switch into southpaw for a few combinations or strikes and then go back to their strong side. But Raw Tang has been primarily just maintaining a southpaw stance. Lassiri again trying to spin and walk right into it. Like his activity, though, Mitch, right? I mean, Lassiri is trying about everything he can against Rod Tang. Yeah, but he's just not doing what he does best, and that's a lot of combinations and relentless pressure, right? We're not used to seeing Lassiri back up. In his match against Sam A, Lassiri was forced onto the back foot and being pressured back. Lassiri does his best work when he controls the pace and the tempo pushing forward, and now he's not able to do that because Rod Tang is not really respecting him. See some of the damage to the face of Lassiri. There's a good jab, needs to keep that firing out. But see the way Rod Tank slips out of the way of it? Right, he's just eating him just to walk forward and grab a hold of Lassiri. Yeah, Rod Tank walking him down. All right, he welcomes him back to the center of the one circle. Wow, Rod Tank actually told the referee to make him come forward. No oh. VA cause stopped it. He said, yeah, you gotta go forward. Oh, and then a couple of hooks from... Rod Tank puts his hooks into the body of Lassiri. I thought Rod Tank was going to give Lassiri a yellow card. <laughs> 40 seconds, round three. Good stuff. There's that jab. Yep. You know, he's listening. He's trying. He's doing his best. But look at the way Rod Tank moves his head and parries the punch. Right? So he's not even hitting it. So they need to come up with another solution besides just firing the jab out. That's what he needs to do. A couple of hooks and a jab from Lassiri. He mix into the hooks. That's important. Right? Not just throwing that jab out there, but throwing in the hook to give him a different look. That jab is doing more damage than you think. You can see a little bit of the wear on, on Rod Tang's left eye. Big left to the face there from Rod Tang. You see the wear and the tear on Lassiri's face here as we come down on the, the final seconds of this round. A couple of rights from Lassiri. And the series doing a good job of hanging in there. Right now we're in the, you know, some of these later rounds, and maybe Rotek might start slowing down by chasing after the series like that. I know the series ain't gonna get tired. He could do this for 25 rounds, but with Rotek, he might start to slow. When you say he's a showman, that's the perfect example right there. See that, right there, see? He mixed in the hooks to the body, hooks to the head, and then threw the jab. That was a nice little combination. Landed by the strawweight champ. Well, yeah, I gotta take that back. I don't think Rod Tang's looking tired at all. <laughs> a little bit of damage underneath he's the left eye. Heavy. Yeah, I'll tell you. <laughs> if, if you're splitting hairs. Yeah, the, you know, my, my only no, 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 criticism of Raw Tang, I guess, at this point, the only thing I could come up with is that he's just walking forward a lot and taking some unnecessary damage that he, he, that he otherwise doesn't need to. We know how good his head movement is and how he can get offline. And he's, he's getting impatient, you could tell. Like, he's really wanting this action to happen. Is it strange that really the corner is saying nothing to him? To Raw Tang? Yeah. No, I don't, I don't, I don't believe so. I think at this point in time, you're basically going to tell your, your, your fighter, hey, Keep doing what you're doing other than letting yourself get dumb. But the, the game plan that they've set forth is, is unfolding the way that they want it to. And, you know, in that match against Tahir Kalilov, where Rod Tang let the guy punch him in the face, it was actually a split decision. So one of the judges actually saw it for Tahir, who was doing a lot of punching and was successfully landing. So it might be to Rod Tang's benefit to really start putting the showmanship aside and still put that pressure on and not just give up shots. Rod Tank continues to come forward and fire shots at the face of Lassiri. 2-10 to go here in round four. Flyweight Muay Thai World champion Rod Tank defending his belt against Lassiri. Heavy underdog tonight in Singapore. But Lassiri came in having won three straight in four of his last five. Nice left and then the jab. The hook and the jab from Lassiri. Saw in the last round as well. See, there's that beautiful jab again. That one landed, snapped the head back. But then a couple of hooks.
to the face from Ron Tang and a push kick. He's still able to keep his feet underneath him. Now he's moving well. Now he doesn't seem as discombobulated by who's standing in front of him. He's taken a lot of Watang's big shots and still able to hang in there, which has got to give him confidence. That last piece of the, of the uh, exchange between the two of them where Lucieri didn't throw the jab out there and Raw Tang was able to just step in with that lead hook to the body. It's the head movement of Joseph Lucieri, right? Like he's moving his head quite well. Raw Tang might be a good idea to start digging to the body and utilizing that left kick to the body. There you go, there's a jab, there's a, there's another one too off of that. Play that jab is the most useful tool he's got. That was a Straight beautiful right. side angle step right there from Joseph Lasiri to come back and answer with a right Dude, hand. Lasiri starting to figure things out a little bit here. Round Two. four, 50 seconds left. You know, definitely the first two rounds went to the flyweight champ, Raw Tang. That third round, that was you know, a better round for Lasiri, but he still went to Raw Tang. But here in the fourth, he's got a tough shot to the body Lasiri did. Yeah. He's still wobbled here. He's hurting. 30 seconds. He's got to survive this. Yeah, really important for him to keep that right arm just tattooed to the left, the right side of his body because Rante loves to dig that left hand right there. See? That left hand right there is always hunt for the liver. Shots to the face from Rante. 15 seconds. Survival mode here from Joseph Lasiri. Yeah, you can see him throwing that body down. There he goes. That's a slip. That's a slip. 10 seconds. Fourth round. Oh, that's a knockdown. The count is it a knockdown. is a knockdown. Hey, yes, step forward, step forward. Right at the end of round four, and there's the pal. Yeah, so that knockdown now will score this as an automatic 10-8 round. I'd like to see that one on the replay there. That was a better first half of the round, at least. The Rod Tank started to turn it up there in the, in the second half of that round, but Lasiri was looking sharper, at least in the first minute and a half or so of that round. But then, oh, see, that was the one. Yep. That left hand to the liver, mm. hunting after it like Hannibal Lecter and a nice Chianti. Look at that. Oh, nice. That was it. Uh, that was pretty close. That was pretty off the jab, too. Yeah. I don't know. Ruled and knocked down at the end of round four. You can you can touch it with the evil. Vai di più, Joe. Metti sta quinta. Go, go. Fifth and final round. I feel like Rod Tang took rounds one, two, and four. Yeah, probably three. Probably three is right. Ready? Ready? Yeah, I think this is a must Two. knockout situation for the series. He wants to win. Three minutes to go in this world title fight. The co main event on one on Prime Video 4. I want to say that Rod Tang's pitching a complete no hitter, but he's pretty close to doing the we, we talked about this being a major right. underdog okay. match Let's before, go. and I went out on the limb and said this is not as much of an underdog match. Although Rod Tang's been in control, but the series brought more to the table, I think, than most people would believe. I mean, Chachi thought he was going to get him out of there in the first two, so That's right. you know, Joseph yes. Lasiri, hats off to him. Oh, he's wearing right. one, is two. definitely looking strong. Still in the fifth round here, moving well, even after hitting some big shots. Running, he's the one strong weight. That's running. Muay Thai world champion Joseph Lasiri is moving up a weight, trying to take this belt from Rob Tang here tonight and become a two division world champion. Olivier Cross earlier said last warning for the series for, for running. No, no, no. Spinning back fist with Siri. Rock Tank says, come on, that's all you can do? Rock Tank putting on a show here in the final round. Joseph Lasiri's got to be careful here. He's still doing well. He's still got on the, on the back foot. He's not taking a lot of damage. You can't let Rod Tang play these mind games, because that's how you get ended. Right, Tang, taunting. Use game plan, keep moving, utilize the jab, get back to what he's doing some good. 80 seconds to go, final round in this world title fight. I think you can see Rod Tang's frustrations unfolding in the fact that he didn't think that this was going to go to a decision. <laughs> Rod Tang's coming into this match. Oh, with the same shot kick. Olivier Cross gave him a warning. You can't put your hand on the, the, the floor like that. So you know, that's why he gave him a warning. It was kind of worth it to impress the crowd here. <laughs>
That's what he does. That is the scouting report on Rod Tang and why he's such a fan favorite. Big shot with a was a knockdown for sure. Big no question in that one. Look at the showmanship from Rod Tang. Rod Tang closing the show in impressive fashion. 30 seconds to go. Another heavy right. Monstrous right hand at that southpaw position. Body kick Rod Tang. Showing everything. Another right. Lasiri on the run. Taunting is Rod Tang. 15 seconds in this world title fight. 15 seconds, something devastating could still happen for Rod Tang. Don't close your eyes on this last 10. No, 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 no. Rod Tang looks like he's taking his foot off the gas, trying to have some fun out there, still trying to close the show. He is a box office blockbuster in every sense of the word. Rod Tang. What a show here tonight in Singapore. What a showman. What a showman. Very impressive. Very impressive. Another great job by the champion to make it 12 and 0. A full dozen wins here inside one championship. You know, we talk about this being a major underdog fight for the series, but I'll tell you, coming into a match like this against a competition, against this level of competition in Raw Tech, what a great performance by the Siri. You know, we, we talk about him being able to utilize that jab more, but he did a, did a great job moving around. This is Rod Tang calling for more action as he steps back. This, this is where I think he actually wanted to give the yellow card. I mean, those are pretty good shots from Lasiri, and his head is barely moving. He wants more. Yeah, you can tell Rod Tang just didn't respect Lasiri's power, and it's easy for someone like Rod Tang to just continue to move, move forward. When you don't have respect for your opponent's power, there's no fear of getting knocked out, which is a big statement to make in, in this point time with these four ounce gloves. Box office blockbuster, Rod Tang. Worth the price of admission and then some. What a performance. Here's Tom Lau. This match was presented to you by Toomey. And now to present the belt for this match, we have the chairman and CEO of One Championship, Mr. Chachri Sityotong. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have scored this contest in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And still undisputed one flyweight Muay Thai champion of the world, Rutang Rod Tang, Jitmong Wan, none. Unanimous decision victory over Joseph Lasiri, the 269th win of his career. And he's standing by with Mitch Chilson. I am here with the champion, Rod Tang. Now, I heard earlier on this week that Joseph Lasiri was saying some stuff that upset you. Was that for the uh, was that the reason for the aggression that you came into this matchup with? ค่ะคุณเอ่อรถถังก็ป้องกันแชมป์ไม่ได้อีกครั้งนึงแล้วเนาะยอดเยี่ยมมากๆเลยนะคะก็เมื่อตอนต้นนาทีเนี่ยค
เริ่มตัวขึ้นก็เริ่มทําน้ำหนักยากมากขึ้นแต่ก็ไฟนี้ไม่มีปัญหาครับก็ต้องขอโทษจากไฟที่แล้วด้วยไฟนี้ก็บอกว่าทุกคนได้อิ่มกับความมันในรูปแบบมวยไทยสําหรับผมนะครับ So first of all, I would like to apologize to all fans all over the world about the last fight that I couldn't make it. But this time, I hope that I didn't dis uh, disappoint anybody regarding the fight. So I have been um, the champion world title for flyweight for a very long time. I have feel that I have improved so much, and I'm continue. Um, I'm, I'm going to continue to entertain all my fans all around the world. Well, I tell you, you definitely did not disappoint, but you continually show different elements to your game. For instance, you came out in this match, Southpaw. What was the reason for fighting from the opposite side? ค่ะก็คราวนี้นะคะเราได้เห็นความแตกต่างที่คุณล้นถังเนี่ยออกมาชกขวาซะส่วนใหญ่นะคะไม่ไม่ได้ซ้ายเหมือนปกติอันนี้มีเหตุการณ์อะไรคือหมายความว่าทําไมถึงเปลี่ยนข้างในการชกอะคะแน่นอนครับผมเป็นคนที่แก้ไขสถานการณ์เวลาชกในเมื่อเรารู้ว่าเขาไวเราจะไปกาดขวาเข้าหวาเขาเนี่ยมันก็คงยากที่จะไล่ต่อยเขาเพราะนั้นเราทําให้เขาผวงก็คือเอากาดซ้ายออกเพราะว่าทางที่ผมดูเขาชกกับพี่สามเอชกกับสิงห์ทองน้อยชกกับมวยซ้ายก็คือเขาชอบบางซ้ายไม่ติดผมเลยอาศัยเอาซ้ายออกก่อนเพื่อให้เขาผวงแล้วก็พอยกสามไปผมก็เปลี่ยนกาดขวาเพื่อออกอาวุธใส่เขาได้ครับ So that's my plan and strategy for this fight because I have been observing him since uh, the former fights. He all, uh, is always in his way when the uh, opponent is uh, not poor for him. It's easier for him to get inside and then get all the clinches. But this time, I observe that if I distract him when I come out south pole, it will be in my game, my strategy, and it worked. It was a great strategy. We can't wait to see you back, whether it's kickboxing, mixed martial arts, or again in Muay Thai. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for your winner, Rod Tang, the Iron Man, Jit Wong Nan. Rod Tang, Jit Wong Nan gets it done yet again to retain his belt and his command and his domination of the flyweight Muay Thai division. I like the words that he said at the end there. You know, we see these videos of him where he's, he's taking punches on the chin and hitting himself and shaking it off. And you think of him as just this, like, Tasmanian devil destructive force that's moving forward in, in the cage. But the reality is that he's, he's, a, he's a strategist. You know, he chose that southpaw stance. He saw weaknesses in the series game, something that he could expose. And that's exactly what he did in this match. And that's something that you have to remember about a guy like Carl Tank. Is you don't get to a level like this just by being able to eat punches. The way he's able to move his head off line, the micro movements, closing distance, his elbows, everything that he does is what makes Rod Tang a great fighter. Rod Tang, what a show. Impressive stuff. Mutual respect with Mikey Musumeci. So I'm talking to the one championship CEO, Chatri Sichitong. In the coal main, he delivered and then sunk. Rod Tang with his 269th career victory as his legend and his legacy continue.